We recently shared the idea in social media that rather than spending well over a million dollars for a small, unbecoming property in Santa Monica or Vancouver or any other market of your choice, you could take that money and invest in a business that would generate five figures of cash flow every month. And today I'm going to show you exactly how you could do that. So obviously none of this is investment advice, but I'm going to share with you today uh, who I think could do this, who could buy a business, uh, what has worked for our clients over the years and how they've made their money, uh, and show you some specific examples of actual business that you can buy and generate cash flow rather than putting your money in an overheated real estate market in a country like the US or Canada, where you may be over leveraged and where you may be waiting to see what happens next. And so uh, I'm gonna walk you through the specific property and share with you some of the ideas that you can do. If it's your first time here, my name is Andrew Henderson, the founder of Nomad Capitalist. We are a boutique consultancy that serves people who already have seven or eight figure businesses or seven or eight figure investment portfolios who want to legally reduce their taxes, who want to diversify and protect their assets, who want to increase their freedom uh, and their options. I'm also the host of the biggest and best offshore conference called Nomad Capitalist Live, and that's open to everybody. Now, before we get into this, let me pull up just one of the properties that I found. This happens to be on Zillow. This is in Santa Monica, California. So for $1.25 million, you're getting 860 square feet. It's a little bit less than 80 square meters uh, in Santa Monica, just on the right side of Lincoln. I learned that from watching Million Dollar Listing in Los Angeles. Hey, I like a little drama every once in a while myself. Uh, but this is a property you can buy, and uh, of course, I guess you're going to go and get you're going to get a loan, uh, and uh, but it's still a million and a quarter that you are uh, going to put out there for this uh, tiny little property for the privilege of basically paying ever and ever and ever and ever higher cost of living, ever and ever higher taxes, and having to listen to all the whining that's going on around California. Why would you do that when you are a portfolio investor? You own a brick and mortar business you're a high earning employee, you have some cash in the bank, you have some equity in a property, you have some money sitting in the sidelines, maybe it's in the stock market, maybe you took it to the crypto market at just the right time, whatever the case may be, you have some cash. My offer was put the price of a small dinky little property in Santa Monica, Vancouver, Adelaide, you fill in the blanks of the hot market, over, over hot market, and you put that instead, you can develop uh, a five figure cash flow business that you can take pretty much anywhere in the world, pay zero tax and totally control your life. And so what's worked for people that we have worked for before? Agencies where you run social media agencies, you're helping people do things, consultancies, kind of like what Nomad Capitalist is. People run SaaS businesses, any kind of software, software as a service, they're selling um, all kinds of different software and services. Affiliate marketing has worked, e-commerce, Amazon FBA, Shopify stores, not as much in the drop shipping space, but there is some of that. People who've written Amazon books, people who have kind of entire networks of Amazon books, people who have you know, blogs that they get paid commissions on things. They have various, you know, basically affiliate marketing, as I mentioned. So all kinds of app development, um, all kinds of different things in the remote space. And you can buy those kinds of businesses. There was a time not that long ago when you could buy them for basically 24X monthly uh, net profit. Okay, so the same amount of money that you might pay for a window washing company in the United States, you know, 2x annual profit uh, with the you know, employee or the manager's salary added back in, you could have bought a company. Now, uh, as with all good business ideas, people started coming in and those multiples have gone up. Now, one of the websites that we're not gonna mention, there are kind of these wide open marketplaces where you have to know what you're doing. There's Facebook groups, there's websites like Flippa, where you just go and you can buy stuff for you know, 500 bucks, 1,000 bucks. Obviously those are not gonna come with cash flow. You need to generally know what you're doing. You need to come in and inject some know-how, turn them around, take us to the next level, whatever. But I'm gonna share with you some businesses. I don't know, I know I'm, I'm acquaintances with one of these agencies that I'm gonna mention. Otherwise, I don't know them, but I'm aware of them because I've worked with clients over the years who have built up businesses, sold businesses. They've done so with our help to make this much more tax efficient. I'm gonna share with you some specific ideas for where you can take that million and a quarter and put it into a five figure uh, generating opportunity. Let's just go to the first one. And this is on Empire Flippers. This is uh, a book in the, it's in the romance novel space. You wanna be a romance novel tycoon? Well, here you go. For just more than the house in Santa Monica, one million, $293,726. This business uh, generates about 88,000 bucks a month, so it's a little over a million dollars uh, a year. Brings out $30,000 in monthly net profit. That's a 43X multiple. So in about three and a half years, you make your money back, assuming that you're not building up the business, you're not having more 
what it seems like ghost writers writing more romance novels. Basically, they're selling stuff on Amazon. People write these novels, they put them up. I wish I had a, we had a couple of people a couple of years ago who did this, where you're paying people, at the time, it was a penny a word. They're writing, you know, 10,000 word, 20,000 word, 50,000 word romance novels. It doesn't cost you very much. You throw it up on Amazon, you market it for 99 cents. You have, uh, uh, you know, the Sultry Sirens uh, website and people buy all the different, uh, you know, Sultry Sirens books. I don't know how exactly it works, but in this case, the guy is spending about 10 hours a week monitoring sales, overseeing freelancers and conducting market research. So that could be interesting. And uh, he's got a whole team of people. And this could be very nomad capitalist friendly because they're all ghostwriters, they're contractors. Um, and it says there's you know, opportunities to improve. So here's a business you can come up and clean up. You can increase revenue and you can make 360 grand a year, potentially. Uh, now with books, it is a little bit more difficult. So you may have to structure where you would actually want to live. You may have fewer options if you wanted to keep the taxes more friendly, depending on where the books are being sold because books uh, can be treated like royalties. Um, but you can make 360 grand a year potentially in a relatively tax friendly manner. Maybe some of these deals could be negotiated, but here's a seven year old business. You put in the price of a house in Santa Monica, by the way, uh, in my world, there's not a lot of financing. Maybe if you're going to do this somewhere where you live, you can get some kind of government SBA, small business financing. Uh, but that's, that's, there's an opportunity. You're getting your money back in three and a half years. Probably performance better than that house in Santa Monica. Just a guess. And you don't have to live in California and give up half your income. Here's, this, here's the next one. This happens to be also in the romance novel book, also from Empire Flippers. Uh, you're making about 4,600 bucks a month. So uh, my public school math, uh, you know, it's, a, it's about $55,000 a year. And you're spending $208,000 to acquire this two and a half year old business. It comes with an email list, comes with different accounts and different book sites. And same kind of deal, paranormal romance eBooks. That sounds interesting. You just basically manage the people to do the work. And so that's a 45X multiple. In three and three quarters years, you get your capital coming back to you. Again, maybe you, you try and negotiate some of these, but 200 grand, much lower price point. Now we're talking about the price for a house in, uh, I don't know where you can get a house for $208,000. Uh, you know, the price of a house in Belgrade, Serbia, for example. Uh, probably not a lot you can get in many parts of the US or Canada or Australia, but if you only have 208 grand sitting aside, nothing wrong with that. There's a nice little business to start. And you know what? You could live in a lot of places in the world. You're not at, you're not at five figures, as I said, but you could live in a lot of places in the world on that 50, uh, 46, 25 a month. Uh, let's go to another business. This is the last one from Empire Flippers. This is Amazon. You're not selling books, but you're selling Amazon Associates. It's in a, it's in a technology niche. It's a WordPress site that features buying guides and informational content for uh, entertainment equipment and related items. And so this is probably gonna be even more easily tax friendly than a, a company where you're selling books because you're just running a business basically. You've got some people who are freelancers who are overseas. So again, very efficient, very tax efficient, almost a four year old business, $838,000. You're gonna bring in 18,006 and a quarter a month. So about $230,000 a year, obviously well in the in the five figure a month range, well in the range where you could live well in the United States, even if you are paying California's needlessly aggressive 50% taxes. Uh, and you could certainly live very well if you optimize that tax down to zero or the single digits somewhere else. You could live pretty well in a place like Dubai or, or anywhere else we talk about on 18, 6, 25 a month. And uh, hey, you still have an extra $411,000 to spare from the price of that Santa Monica house. You could, you could just buy your house and now your money's gonna go a heck of a lot further. So those are some listings that you can buy for in about the three and a half year return. Let's go to Quiet Light. This is a brokerage that sells um, different online businesses. Here's one, premium yoga membership program with 288% average two year growth and recurring revenue. Uh, you got 2.2 million bucks almost in revenue, bringing in 450 in bottom line income with a three and a half multiple. So you pay 1.575 million. So again, you're a little bit more expensive than my Santa Monica house, but hey, that house is pretty small. Plus you're paying for the inventory and you're getting a premium online education and coaching program for yoga instructors. And they've got a whole bunch of other businesses, but this one, you're making your money back in that same three and a half years. It's growing, they say, pretty quickly. If you can keep doing that, obviously you'll make your money back faster. But you know, there's a whole pitch on how big the market is, blah, 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 blah. But um, hey, 1.575, you're bringing in 450 a year and you can do pretty well with that. So they've got a whole bunch of listings here. They've got a three-year-old uh, skincare brand. I mean, here's a, well, here's a $22.8 million business, 15 million, 14 million, 6.6 .6 million. But plenty of businesses here in the one and a half, 1.3. Here's one, 1 1.3. Uh, 6x multiple for a content site portfolio with almost a million dollars trailing 12 month revenue and 183% growth. 
Uh, you're paying 1.3 million, same price almost as that Santa Monica house. You're going to get your money back 1.36 years. Is that Santa Monica house with California, with everybody moving out, hundreds of thousands of folks moving out, is that a better bet to buy a house, hitch your car to their wagon, hope and believe that prices in California go up, or do you want to take things into your own hands and have a million bucks in income that you can pretty much move? I mean, it's a, it's a portfolio of WordPress sites, this one, ad networks, lead gen, uh, et cetera. You can probably operate this one at pretty close to zero tax uh, with the... Um, uh, with the way this is running. So there you go. How, how's a million bucks a year tax-free uh, work for you? Uh, all for the price of a 860-square-foot uh, house. Uh, and there are more uh, quiet light. Eco-friendly kitchen goods, 2.43x multiple, uh, 370000 in revenue, 102000 in income, all for the low, low price of $249,000 if you're trying to get started out. So um, lots of deals where you can make your money back in as little as 15, 16 months and up to three and a half, four years for some of the more serious deals. Uh, also, MicroAcquire, hard to get these, uh, these details, but MicroAcquire has small businesses you can buy and you've got to sign up for a membership. It's not MySpace necessarily, but you've got businesses, $824,000 uh, trailing gross revenues with only 22 grand in profit, make an offer. Uh, these are all kind of businesses that have monthly recurring revenue, so e-commerce stores. Um, a lot of e-commerce, SaaS, marketplace kind of stuff. Three and a half million trailing, two million trailing, zero, 17,000. So all over the different map, you know, you can make, you know, here's a business making $11,000 in the last 12 months, make an offer. Here's one, $200,000 uh, in the last 12 months, make an offer, 46 grand. Some of these will probably follow the same model. Maybe some of the multiples could be higher. But the point is, plenty of opportunities from these brokerages, and I'm not recommending any of these. I, don't, I can't say that I've necessarily worked with them or endorsed them. But here are websites which, um, from what I understand, are legitimate brokerages, more so than some of the little rinky-dink websites and Facebook groups where you kind of kind of do your own due diligence. These are some folks that would hold your hand. And if you went out there and put a million bucks into something, you could get a return. Could you get some kind of small business financing in your country and then pay that off in the next couple of years and then move the business offshore then? Potentially, you could do that if you're not ready to move. In the meantime, you get your residence, you get your passport, you get your whole global infrastructure set up, and then you move the business offshore later and take advantage of tax advantages. Or you buy the business now and you, for cash and you move it offshore right away and you can enjoy five figures or even six figures a month uh, in some of these cases in very tax advantaged uh, income. And so some of these businesses, again, have different kind of criteria. Again, books being one, E-commerce could have some more issues that you want to work out. You know, where's the product shipped from? What's the whole supply chain? These are all things that we work with people on on a day-to-day -day basis. But if you have this kind of business, you come to us and we develop uh, and we implement your plan for dramatically reducing your taxes, increasing your freedom. These are the kind of businesses that people have, and it's no more expensive than a little house in Santa Monica.